Muntawai is a district in the form of an archipelago located in the province of West Sumatra. The Muntawai Archipelago is the only district whose territory is separated by sea from the province of West Sumatra. This archipelago consists of four main inhabited islands, namely Sibirut, Saifora, North Pagai and South Pagai. These four islands are inhabited by the majority of the Muntawai people and a small part of the Manangkabau people. Apart from the four main islands, there are also several small inhabited islands, but most of these islands are only planted with coconut trees. The Muntawai Islands, which extend off the west coast of Sumatra Island, and are surrounded on all sides by the waters of the Indian Ocean, are part of a series of non-volcanic islands, where this group of islands are the peaks of several underwater mountains. The Muntawai Islands are known for their beautiful and stunning underwater charms, so these islands are called a paradise for divers. In addition to the charm of the underwater world, Muntawai is also known to have the charm of waves that are the target of surfers. The position of the beach directly facing the Indian Ocean makes these islands have consistent big waves. Apart from the stunning natural beauty, the Muntawai tribe itself is actually a special attraction. They are known to have a very strong culture, so that their culture is still well preserved to this day and is not affected by modernization. They are the original inhabitants of the Muntawai Islands, one of the oldest tribes in Indonesia where their ancestors have occupied these islands since 500 years before Christ. One of their most distinctive traditions is the use of full body tattoos, which are also the oldest tattoos in the world. Muntawai tattoos have been named the oldest tattoo painting art in the world which has existed since 1500 BC or older than the Egyptian tattoo which only appeared in 1300 BC. Tattoos, which they call TD or dots, do not only mean decoration for the body or immortal clothing that can be taken to death. But more than that, they consider tattoos as a symbol or identity that shows the land of origin, role and social status of the user. More than that, for the Muntawai tribe, tattoos are a very sacred traditional ritual and are something that is highly respected in their environment. Usually, they use tattoos from ink that comes from crushed charcoal or burnt wood. while the needles used come from plant thorns that are inserted into the layers of the skin to form various motifs. Meanwhile, the person who makes the tattoo is called Sipatiti, who will later be paid with a pig, apart from tattoos. Muntawai women are also attached to a very unique habit, namely grinding their teeth to a sharp shape. For them this habit contains a belief that a girl who wants to look beautiful is advised to have sharp teeth. Because of that the girl's teeth would be sharpened with tools made of iron or wood that had been sharpened until they were sharp. This process is carried out on all their teeth. Apart from looking beautiful this tradition has another meaning. Namely to control themselves from the six despicable traits that have been ingrained in them. 
which the Muntawai people call Sanribu. The Muntawai tribe lives in groups according to their respective tribes, where each tribe lives and has a certain village. Usually their settlements are established along the river, they occupy a house that resembles the shape of a traditional West Sumatran house. There are three types of houses that are commonly used by the Muntawai tribe. The first is the big house, which is a large traditional house which is generally inhabited by three to four families. The second is the Lele house. This house is a smaller type of house that is occupied by one family. Then the third is a house called Rusuk which functions as a place for young people, widows and people who are removed in a village because they have violated the prevailing norms. In one village there are usually two classifications, namely a group of village leaders who are usually called Sibikat Langai, and also a group of immigrant tribes called Sitoi. Village leaders have special privileges, especially in controlling land and the location of sources of food in the environment where they live. They live by eating sago and fish. Sago is the main food they get from the swamp forests that are found around where they live. They also practice farming by clearing the forest using simple tools. Plants that are planted are generally also used as daily food, such as taro and sweet potato. The Muntawai people live by adhering to a belief called Eret Sabulungan, an animist belief that everything has a spirit or soul. According to their beliefs, when the spirits are not treated properly or are forgotten, they will give bad effects, such as illness or something that can haunt those who forget them. However, at this time almost all Muntawai people have embraced Islam, Protestant Christianity and Catholic Christianity, although some of them still hold on to their old beliefs.